Hello and welcome to another edition of Good Morning Patia, Patia Channel's very own breakfast show. I'm your host, Nick Pendrell, and joining me as usual is my regular partner in crime, Mr. Dave D. Like the crime bit, but good morning, Nick, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch the, watch the media for, uh, for news of the crime. Just a word of warning today, we have to watch our P's and Q's because uh, I think we're going to have a few lessons from our, uh, our guest today. Our morning. guest today is, in fact, Chris from the CTLS Language School. Welcome to the show. Morning. Morning, Chris. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> nice to see you on here. So tell us all about the CTLS Language School. Well, CTLS Language School opened in Patia six years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the largest private language school on the eastern seaboard. Really? Uh, my wife has got two PhDs mm -hmm. and she actually wrote the programme to allow schools to be offered student visas. Right. So there's now maybe 150 schools that have plagiarised my wife's licence. Oh, really? <laughs> so you can never... Well, they say imitation is the most sincerest form of flattery, so she should be very Well, flattered. yes, but uh, this is what's caused the problems with the student visa at the moment. Last year there was 18 new schools opened, mm. no customers basically selling the visa. Right. Mm. So as a consequence of that, genuine schools like ourselves are now having the same problems as everybody else. Well, what is the visa situation now, then, Chris? I mean, you know, where does it stand at the moment? Well, they're not stopping people applying for student visas, but the main, the main change to the student visa is that all new applicants can apply in the same way. Mm -hmm. They will still get a 12-month visa. People that apply to go from second year, uh, first year to second year, second year to third year, mm -hmm. they apply in the same way, but they must now leave Thailand okay. uh, to obtain a visa as they've brought this in line with a non-O and a non-A where you have to leave again to get a new visa. So physically they can get all the, the, the paperwork here, can they? Yeah. Uh, and then they have to physically go out of Thailand yes. to get the visa to come back in to say they can carry on. Yeah. Mm. But if, it, if you're applying for the first time and you enter on a 30-day tourist visa, mm you will lose 30 days of a 12-month extension. Right, right. If you enter on a 60-day plus 30-day, you can lose as much as three months on a student visa. It depends when you apply for it. Right. Mm. And after, after the 29th of this month, uh, visa extensions will be given up to the 29th of this month. Mm -hmm. After the 29th, mm. uh, every student from every school has to reapply for a new student visa. They have to leave Thailand to obtain the, the, the new visa. All right. And can they do this, uh, do they go to, to Laos to, to do it? Or? They can go to Laos, Cambodia. They, they've got to go to a Thai embassy mm -hmm. or a consulate. Right, right. Have you heard, I've heard a few rumours of uh, people who have gone out of the country on a tourist visa and then come back in and had problems getting back in. Uh, I don't know whether this is just sort of the Pattaya grapevine. Have you heard any stories is like this that? this tourist visa or a student visa? Student, student. Well, I, I can only comment on our school mm. and we've had no rejections right. from our school. Right, that's good to know. Uh, it's been very isolated incidents. So, I mean, the sort of word on the grapevine at the moment is, of course, now they're going to start testing the people that are getting the education visa. I mean, you know, like before, you know, they say, oh, I, I go, I've, I don't go or whatever. Now they're actually physically going to test them, yes? Yeah? Our school has just been inspected by seven immigration officers, not from Pattaya, but from Bangkok. Mm -hmm. They pulled 20 students' records out at random. They wanted to see attendance sheets, homework, lesson plans. So, you know, they are checking. Yeah, sure. And they've already closed one school in John TM. I, I can't tell you yeah. the name of it. Sure. And they cancelled everybody's visa. Mm. And the main nationality of this, who's going to get the visa stopped, unfortunately, is the Russians. They're going from school to school to school to school to see who's going to sell them the visa at the lowest cost. What, Chris, what, what, what is the requirements? I mean, you know, if I was to say I wanted an education visa, what are the requirements? How many hours do I have to put in uh, Curre uh, per week? Currently, mm. it's two two-hour lessons per week. Mm. They're going Which is in, not a lot. No, mm. it's, mm. Not, it's not a lot for a comfortable visa, four hours a week. Yeah, sure. But now they're going to increase it to eight. 
And yeah. is, it, is it only the Thai language that an ed visa is for? Or can well, you uh, learn other subjects? No, we are, we, our school, we have 15 subjects. Oh, okay. And uh, when we open our cultural centre, yeah. we've now got a licence for Thai massage. We'll be able to teach Thai massage to foreign nationals who can get a student visa for this as well. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. So name some of the other of the 15 subjects that, uh, that you're offering. Uh, Russian, German, Chinese, Japanese, mm -hmm. personal development, mm -hmm. kun dancing. If, if you'd like to be a lady boy, we have a, <laughs> we, we have a makeup one which we can have, actually offer for seven years. Wow. All, all our licenses are five mm. years. Most, yeah. most other schools can only do for three. Right. Right. Licenses for what, Chris? What was that? All our languages. They, okay. they, f they followed our school marketing, but mm. when you actually speak to them, they can, only, they can only teach these languages for three years, but we've got five-year licenses. Mm. So when people leave our school after three years and want to sign up for Thai languages to other school, they don't believe us that they can. They've already done three years. That school's got a three-year license. Mm. You can't sign up for a fourth year mm. at a different school. They've only a three-year license. Right. Wow. So where, where is your school physically located then? It's uh, up so you may behind uh, Big C Extra mm -hmm. in a new development. And how many, there are, you're saying that it's now seating is very important and they're checking on this, so how many students can you accommodate at any one time? 2,500 per week. Wow, that's a lot. It's uh, four buildings, it's two and a half thousand square metres. Mm, that's a serious, that's a real school. What's that's the, a, um, a real school. The thing that I want to sort of get right is, if somebody wants to go for an end visa and, and they've got to go and do the, the, the eight or ten hours at your school, yeah? I mean, what, how, how does your school benefit from that? I mean, do they, they, do they pay to go to your school for the eight or ten hours? Or is that part of their visa? No, we... we uh, we charge a fee for a, for one of, the Thai language program is 180 hours. Right. So they pay me a fee for 180 hours. Our 180 hour Thai language course comes with a student visa. We'll ah, do, okay, we'll, that's, that's we'll do all yeah. the paperwork for the Got student you. visa. Okay. So, so it's, it's included in their fee, their, their lessons and everything yes. is included in, with their visa, yes. one, one payment. If, if it moves from two hours to four hours, they're still going to get the same hours. Right. Now, with this change of regulations at the moment, we've not penalised any student of ours because what we've said to them is, if you lose one, one visa extension, mm. we'll charge you 75% for the next year. Right. Mm -hmm. If you lose two visas, we'll charge you 50%. Right, which is fair. Yeah. If, yeah. if you lose three visas, mm -hmm. we'll charge you 25%. Right. Mm. So That's very fair. We, we've tried to be fair. Yeah, sure. I'm not sure other schools will do this. Well, no, I think I think you know, like you said, there's probably a lot of schools out there that sort of half know what they're doing. Well, also as well, I'm not going to mention the school, but there's one particular school that offers. Uh, they hide their students behind the fact that they learn by Skype. You cannot have a student visa for learning by Skype. You need seventy percent attendance in the school, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and once. Once they get everybody on this new line, that they're making everybody get a new visa, mm. that's when the schools are going to be rigorously mm. uh, inspected. Yeah. What uh, classroom sizes uh, do, you, do you have for, for the, the, the learning? Sort of one teacher and how many students? The minimum size of a classroom is five metres by four metres. That mm -hmm. can seat six to eight. Yeah. Right. Oh, so, it's pretty, so it's pretty intimate. I mean, yeah, it's pretty, yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's a teacher in each one, yeah? Yeah. Hmm. And what sort of nationalities do you have at your school in terms of students? We have a range of all, all nationalities, mm -hmm. but I would say mainly... Two years ago, I would say Germans would have been the most popular students. They've fallen away and been replaced by Russians. Mm -hmm. I believe 40% of our new customers are Russians, but yeah. they don't want to learn Thai, they want to learn English. Yeah, yeah, I can certainly yeah, see true. why. Mm. So we have a full-time Russian teacher. Mm. Yeah. And mm. do you uh, do you offer like one-on-one -on -one individual tuition if people say, look, I, I, I don't need a visa, I just really just want to learn to speak Thai or English or, or something. Do you offer that as well? Mm. Yes, yes. 
And what sort of rates for an hour of private tuition would you offer? Well, our group classes are groups between six and eight people, which we charge 138 baht per hour for. That's what, that's not that's what 25,000 baht comes to, right. 138 um, baht. But obviously, one-to-one -one classes, yeah. you, you have to reflect yeah, the yeah. price. The price. So depending on what language it is, mm. it ranges from five hundred to seven hundred baht. We, we spoke about that. We spoke uh, about the cultural center a little bit uh, about this. You know, you can mm. learn the, the Thai massage and uh, the lady boy thing and that. What more? What other facilities will you have there, Chris? Well, this has been three years in the planning and uh, eighteen months in the building. Mm. This is a two thousand. Uh, 2,000 square meter building, it will see 300 people. We plan to run a show in the afternoon, a show in the evening, serve lunch, serve an evening meal, um, to promote Thai culture from the mm -hmm. four regions of Thailand. Mm -hmm. So every day we hope to, to change the culture. One, one day we'll do Lana dancing, we'll serve Lana food. Mm -hmm. The next day we'll do South, then we'll do Isan. Mm -hmm. Uh, the spa, which is, it's all one building, but the spa has got uh, 14 uh, rooms that can accommodate four people per room. Mm -hmm. You walk on to, out into gardens, we have a massive man-made man, man -made lake. We've got salas around the lake for massage outside. Is this like, also, I mean, you know, when, when you're saying uh, educating bit, is, we have like, you can have like a tour guide, for example, is that what you're going to have there? Who can actually take them to the four regions in your place and explain to them what happens and what it is? Is it that kind of thing? No, we, we've, we've put PowerPoint presentations on the stage. Okay. So there's a story. For Lang, we don't know the story of Thai mm. dancing. No. Mm. And they're beautiful stories. Mm -hmm. And so we've decided that we've put two PowerPoint presentations above the dancers and right. we, we will tell the stories of the dancers in different languages yeah i mean you know we all see that the thai dancers around and they've got all their hand moves and their leg moves and that which all means something it's just that we don't know what it yeah. means of course mm -hmm. well we, we hope to enlighten them by these powerpoint no. presentations and where will this be located this is near silver lake near near phoenix okay. Gulf Coast. right uh, okay it's on 17 raya land mm -hmm. Huge. we've got planning permission in place to build six blocks of six condos mm -hmm. within the grounds, mm -hmm. but not together. You're just gonna, you, the only shared uh, wall that you've got is the, the kitchen wall. Right. right. You have the staircase, so there's no noise abatement. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the planning of living on site is for, for what, for students or for just no, visitors or? No, we, we, we're building apartments, for, uh, 16 apartments for staff to live in. Okay. And, mm -hmm. and these ones will be for uh, rent or sale. Right. Right. We're actually one kilometre from Phoenix Golf Course. Oh, oh very good location then. Yeah. It's beautiful countryside out there mm, as nice. well. So I can imagine that. I think it's good. I mean, you know, there's a lot of things out there, Nick, but, you know, when people are trying to educate us, mm -hmm. you know, who are here as visitors, you know, it's nice to know, you know, all about the country. I think it's a good thing. Well, it's like, it's like usually the last dance is Anaman, the white mask. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's pursuing the lady. Okay. And, and it's usually the last dance because oh. he can't win the lady's art because he's got no money. Mm. Right. So he goes into the audience and he's, he's, mm. he's basically asking for a tip because you've been entertained. But it's right. actually to win the lady's art. All uh, right. But you uh. don't know why he's stroking your leg. <laughs> It, it, I have the same problem. It, it, <laughs> yes, but it's it's it, it, it's a basic story. Yeah, yeah, sure. And, it, and it's, it, it's, it's, it's fascinating. About, it's about a tip. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we, you, you watch lots of things sometimes here, and you think mm -hmm. to yourself, you know, I understand it, but I don't. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? I like it, but I don't understand it. So I think it's good to get the education. So, Nick? Chris, we're nearly out of time, unfortunately. Uh, for the language school, how can people contact you? Do you have a, a website? We have a website, tlslanguageschool.com. All, right. all, all our five schools' contact details is on there. We have we've four other schools, two right. in Bangkok, one in Ayatea, oh, right. one, one in Lopri. Right, so uh, that's how uh, everybody can uh, get in contact with you to find out more about uh, the courses. Um, well, thank you for coming. Uh, wish you the best of the luck with the new cultural centre. Uh, thanks a lot for having me. And thanks stay for tuned for part two.